Hey, I'm Alex Radcliffe from BoardGameCo. And AP. And today we are playing through Apiary from Stonemaier Games. Apiary is a worker placement or bee placement game, which we're going to be placing bees onto this board to try to take a variety of actions. We're going to have our advance, explore, grow, carve, and convert areas of the board, and the research. I almost forgot the research. And we'll, we'll walk you through how this works, but the general idea is as you place your workers, you're going to be placing them down. As they get bumped or recalled, they're going to upgrade in strength. So you're going to start the game with some ones, some twos, and then possibly upgrade them all the way to fours, which is important because at four, you'll get bonus actions in each of the areas. But once there are four and they are recalled or bumped, at that point, they will go into hibernation. You will lose the worker. You will get a bonus in this hibernation comb down here. And also, that's going to be one of the endgame triggers, or really the endgame trigger, since the endgame will be triggered when either these two areas over here are completely filled this is for a three-player game, which we are not playing. Or alternatively, once a player has done seven of their own bees, regardless of whether they're filled, at that point, game end will trigger. We'll walk you through some more things as we start, but let's go ahead and start ourselves off over here. And we haven't decided first player yet, so let's go ahead and choose a hand. This one. First player is yourself. So you're going to go ahead and get that one point over there. I'll get two, and you can go ahead and take the first action of the game. Okay, first action in the game. I have no resources. I will need resources. Resources are an important thing to start I'm with. Oh, we should. You, have, you don't start with resources? Neither do I. None. Interesting. So I'm going to start with this movement. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So it's cool. a double movement. I'm going to move it into here. That's a great starting spot. I get one of each. Okay. And a card comes out as well. So let's put one there. One there. So this is the explore zone. We'll walk you through the explore zone as we go. I'll timestamp each of the core actions in the game. Ooh. But the explore action is going to start by allowing you to move the queen bee through space equal to the total value of the workers there, which there'll be two workers. Once you place a new worker here, this will get bumped over and you'll sum the workers together. From there, you'll get a bonus tile as well as placing a new spot out, which means right over here, we went to Karyopa. Karyopa gives you a water, but every time you go to a tile, either new exploration or already existing, you get to decide to add a new resource to it that defines what, as long as there's space, that is, which defines what you get. So right now, AP gets to decide which resource he thinks he wants in order to drive this engine forward. I hate these decisions. It's like... Additionally, each tile or each zone in the game gives you a strength or gives you a bonus for a strength for a worker. In the case of the explorer action, some of the tiles, about half of the explorer tiles, have a bonus action if you place a strength for a worker there. In this case, there is no bonus action, but also no strength for a worker. We're going to make this into a flower going forward, and I'll take an extra flower. So now Cariola is producing water and flower, and if it gets visited again, you can add more to it. Awesome. So, I spent too much time narrating what you're doing and not thinking about my own actions. I also want resources, though. No. I also want resources. Yeah, a lot of resources. Hmm. I do recommend them. All the cool kids are using them. All the cool kids. All the cool kids. I do want resources. I think... I think the only thing that really makes sense for me is I'm going to go ahead and place a one worker, which allows me to move up to three in the explore action. I also want those resources. I'm going to move only one this time and take this card draw, Ooh. which means I get two cards over here, as well as, can you put out a new tile, please? Yes. Oh, you get to choose. So complete agency. I'm going to choose a B spot over there and take some honey, putting it down into my uh, little hive over there, and that's my action. It's nice about the cards that you can change them in for anything. Anything. Anything yeah. at all. Okay, my next action, I have one B. Um, I'm going to start the process of going here. Go for it. Um, my top choices are only in the first row. So in the first row, I will buy the top card. And that will cost me one of these and okay. one of these. Beautiful. And I take this. Now, in the advanced action, you're going to be able to take from the various sectors on the board. The way this works is there's three different types. There's farm, recruit, and development. Farm tiles are important because they're going to give you rewards whenever you recall your workers while also giving you additional storage, which will become important. Meanwhile, the recruit action gives you these ongoing abilities that will help your engine, and the development action gives you instantaneous bonuses. So lots of things to try to balance or think through as you go through this, but uh, the last thing, as I say, is you're going to go up to the range. So you can choose a 1 plus 1 is a range of 2, and then over here you can choose range 3, and range five and a four will give you a bonus three points okay but i'm going to place mine over here so that i get another single b that goes to my active pool yeah okay okay dokes and now i need to think through how i'm doing this over here because there's lots of things that i want to do what do i want to do what do I... oh that could be strong do, 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 do. oh my gosh what? I'm just, I mean, just, I'm thinking, I'm processing, I'm processing. It's all, it's all a lot. It's all a lot. Hmm. Okay, I could do that. I could do that. Okay, so what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to go ahead and 
I need that action. I need that economy. There's too many things I need. I'm going to go ahead and place this tile out over here like so. So I'm going to bump this down over here mm -hmm. and I'm going to do a two plus one, which is a range three. That means I'm going to be able to do this research in order to afford that. That's a three cost over there. I'm going to pay both these cars and nice. one honey and go ahead and build that tile. And I'm going to build it down over here, which is going to give me a single one of these back. In general, your board is going to give you various bonuses. And now whenever I take a research action, I get to keep a second card for free. Ooh, gonna you're going to go down. on that wild. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm trying. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know what I'm doing. We have a new card. Whenever you hibernate, gain two wild resources. That sounds fun. Okay. Uh, we are limited in what we're gonna do, but we will move this. So this will move a total of two. So right about now, you're gonna bump your first worker. So we get to decide. We get to define what bump workers do right now. Whenever a worker gets bumped, whether you bump it or an opponent, you're going to go ahead and take that worker and either put it into your landing area where you can then recall like normal, or you can rotate it, making it a three and putting in your active pool where it can be used to place again. So I will actually make it into a three because I'm gonna place okay. it again. Go ahead and explore away on the uh, I'm explore go action. here. Two of those, beautiful. Two of these, which I will take two of these, and a new card comes out. <gasps> Don't have space. You have space right here. I do have space. You bought the getting Those farm tiles over there are both going to give you a recall action and additional space, and all the tiles have points on the end. I get to choose what I want it to be. So that's going to be a single resource, only one. It's a very low tile there, but it does have a four bonus if you place a four there. Yeah, if it was a four, that would make a big difference. I will turn this into a honey. Honey, honey, honey. Eh, eh, honey. I'm going to go ahead and place a one in this exact same area. I'm going to go ahead and bump my own worker, which we'll deal with in a second, but I'm going to move over here. And I think I'm going to take, I think I kind of want, do I want farmland? Let's go ahead and take uh, honey. Let's take honey. I'm going to take some honey over here, pop it down over there. That's going to give me two honey nice. and a water on that tile. So I'm magnifying that spot over there, putting these down over here. My own worker is going to get bumped and it's going to get bumped into a two. I want to see what that last blue card says over there. This one over here? Yeah. Whenever you hibernate, gain any two resources. Um, of the basic resources. Right. So I will <clears throat> use my three. I'm going to bump myself up. And... Turn I, myself into a two, or... I will turn myself into a two. Okay. And we will go over there, and we will buy this one. Ooh, an early hibernation bonus. The next one, you have a, oh, you have a three there, yeah. Next one over here is going to be agriculture. It costs two honey. Whenever you retrieve, collect an additional farm. So I paid two honey for that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Into the reserve. It's my turn now, and I can choose how I want to proceed over here, because I kind of like your three bonus over there. That's useful. Honestly, there's a lot of things over here that are useful. It's always hard to try to figure out exactly what you want to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and bump my two over here. I bump this. Does that work for me? I guess it does. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and bump my tile over here. Okay, so that's going to be, this is going to come back. And I'm actually going to go ahead and rotate it to become a three. And then we're going to go ahead and buy a tile. And I think I am inclined enough to go ahead and buy this one over here. That's going to cost me a water and a honey over here. And I'm going to return those to the pools. And this is going to go into my supply where I can go ahead and cover that and take another one of these. And what is that last new blue tile? Which one? This one? Yeah. Whenever you retrieve, collect an additional farmland. So we haven't heavily talked about this, but when you take a retrieve turn, you're going to look at your farmlands. And for each bee you retrieve, you get to go ahead and generate the benefit from the farmland. So more farmlands means more options, but also you need a certain number of farmlands to be able to take that action at all. Right. To your uh, turn, sir. Yes. To my turn, to which I will actually go back on a placement over there. Mm -hmm. And we will knock myself down to this point. I think, I'm still not entirely sure. I want to go here, what happens if you I go stay where? there? Uh, if you go there, you go, when you take a retrieve turn, you're going to be able to generate one of your farmland bonuses and also turn it into a four. Okay. Um, so I will do that. And <laughs> right now we have a strength of four. So I can get in either row. This is two of those and one of those, and that gives me two points. I will do that. I will spend these two plus the water. Okay. And I'll take that farmland. This one over here? Yep. Beautiful. Enjoy, sir. Okay. I'm going to go ahead, and I think I need some water in my pool at the moment, although maybe not. Maybe I just need that. But then that needs that, so I need that too. And I will take okay. a... 
Keep going, or are you doing something slow? I'm just placing. Doing? Okay, placing away. So, and I get a one back in here. Okay. I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and place my three. Oh, this is hard. These are all hard. I'm going to place my three over here. Okay. That's going to bump these down over here like so. Mm -hmm. That's going to bump you back. You can decide how to either landing area or rotate to a two. And then I'm going to move one, two, three over here and explore that zone. That's going to go ahead and give me one of these tiles over here, which goes to my reserve. And I get a new tile coming out. And we're going to be able to have a stereo over here. And I think I'm going to collect a water onto it. I'm going to take a water, and that's going to be my turn. Your turn, sir. Yes, my turn. I am going to place... Um, I just can't see what this one says. Which whenever... one? This one? No, the, the last This one? Whenever there. you retrieve, collect an additional farmland. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, we're going to move this B. You have a three over there right now. I'm going to move this one. Push it down. Okay. And so you're going to push me out. I think yeah. I'll take that back as a two. I'm going to rotate it up as notch. I will move two over here. That's the other one I was looking at. Now, in general, you've seen us take a lot of the core actions of, of explore and advance. Uh, we haven't really taken a lot of grow, carve, convert, or research, and by a lot, I'm pretty sure we've taken none of those. Uh, those actions we'll get to shortly, but a very short note is convert's going to allow you to do different conversions. Carve gives you these end game victory point tiles that are very helpful, but they, you have to place a four worker there. Grow is going to allow you to take new workers if you have any in the pool, as well as you can go ahead and get these tiles over here, which can be expanded to your board, adding new sections onto your board. And lastly, research lets you draw cards as well as planting seed cards, and those are going to be very helpful to uh, score a lot of points. Yep. My turn, right? I have a two. I have a two, and I had a thing that I wanted to do Let's with my two. over. Yeah. Okay. I could move that as well, but I don't think it's helpful to do so. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and place... Hmm. I want to get that. I want to get everything, really, realistically. I think I'm going to go ahead and place a two over here to be able to knock this down. I'm going to spend these two resources, placing this like this and like that, and then that's going to come back as a three. I'm going to return that over there, and then we're going to go ahead and buy... Oh, did I just spend a one and one? I may not have wanted to. Let's, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and take this one over here, popping this down on the board like so okay, okay. and then it's your turn yeah it was over that's a good one cost two water and a uh, green thing i don't know what the green things are but then it gives you two points and a queen's favor Ooh. okay meanwhile it's my turn mm -hmm. i am going to actually push my guy down here okay and we're gonna flip this to three okay and I'm going to spend one green in order to get the first of the plants. The first of the plants, okay, perfect. Okay. Mm. My turn? This is not fun. I'm trying to figure out how to place it? Yeah, I can't place it. I mean, you could place it, you can like it. Then I can't go for certain bonuses. Okay, so I'll go here. And I just You're just going to wave that bonus? I guess so. Okay. Less than ideal. My go turn. Ahead. I'm going to place this down over here. Oh, I move up two on this queen's favor. I'm going to slide this one down, and I'm going to go ahead and rotate this back. Oh, no, I don't. Three. I don't. I only want to pull it back. Do I go up? Uh, only when you... Yes, correct. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab this over here. I'm going to pay one. I have a strip range of five. Nice. I'm going to take this. This is going to go into my hive, but more importantly, I'm going to get that. But this one says double the effect, but not tokens of all tokens, which is I'm going to get eight Queen's Favor right now. And a water. Nice. I'm going to go up eight on the Queen's Favor track to eight. Your turn, sir. And the new thing comes out. New thing comes out, and it's going to be a flight path. Gain two tokens from the board. Okay. Um, I'm going to place this, knock my person down. This goes here. Um, and actually didn't make a difference in that, but anyways. And I'm going to buy the last one on that thing on blue. This one over here? The blue. When you retrieve, gain an additional thing? Yeah. Helpful. Agriculturist. Over here we have a new one coming out. It's going to be an engineer. Costs two honey. Yeah. And when you take an advanced action, the tokens cost one less. That is very helpful, actually. That is annoyingly helpful actually i think i have to do that for my current engine i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to buy this tile so i'm going to place this three down over here not what i intend to do this is going to rotate out as a four and then i'm going to go ahead and gather this which is paying two honey for that and taking this token where whenever i take an advanced action i pay one less for these development tiles 
And this is going to go down over, hmm, I guess we'll go over here. Seems like a reasonable place to put it. I'm going to go ahead and pay, that gives me a honey back. I'm going to put a new tile out, which is going to be this one. And advanced actions, uh, when you take an advanced actions, farmlands no longer cost water. Wow. Okay. Um, now how does it work? You take a recall action? Yeah. So when you take a recall action, you're going to go ahead and look at all your various ships over here. In your case, you have four ships. And because you have this, you can activate five farm tiles. But you don't actually have five farm tiles. You can only activate the three farm tiles you have. You are incentivized to try to get more farm tiles as fast as possible. One additional? Why can I do five? I don't understand. How you, I can so do five. because you have one, two, three, four ships that you're recalling, uh, each yes. ship will allow you to do one of these, and then okay. you have this, which lets you do a fifth. Okay, now I got it. So if you're doing a recall action, you're going to rotate each of your ships up by one notch and activate the, for the three bonuses you have in play. So it goes into your active pool. Yep, this one's going to come off, go into your active pool, and that one's going to come off and go into your active pool. What does it mean by bonuses in active play? Which one? What are you referring to? Two. Well, that becomes two. That was a two. Okay. It becomes a two. It becomes a two. It becomes a two. What, what? Okay. I missed what you said. You take out. So you get all those four over there, and you're yep. going to go ahead and take the bonuses from those. Points. Oh, so you get so two I get two queens favor. Yes. You're going to get one water, and you're going to get two points. Okay. Now I understand. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Which brings it to my turn, and I need it to be my turn. I could do that, but it's kind of risky. Hmm. Got it. Got it. Got it. I like the idea of that and that and that, but I'm trying to figure out all the things I want to do. So I think I'm going to be, I think I could be a bit of an interesting jerk. I don't love the top action. I kind of want to take that. You know, let's go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and take a research action. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my four over here. I'm going to put it down to research. There's a bit of a risk because I don't know what I actually want to do. I'm going to draw four cards over here. Research lets you draw cards up to the number over there. Then if you place the four, you get to plant one, which can be very helpful over here to plant them. But in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be able to keep two because I have this card that says keep a second card when I take a research action. So I'm going to look at my cards over here. I'm going to plant one of them. But I need to figure out which one is better. Well, oh, that's terrible. That's terrible. That's not bad. Okay, I could take that one. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's not bad either. Um, oh. Okay, okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and take this card over here. So I'm going to go ahead and place this down. I'm going to plant I'm going to plant this seed card, which gives me a straight up bonus 5 points at the end of the game. We're going to take that card, put it over there, and then from there I get to keep a second card, and I kind of like a lot of them. So the question is which one do I keep? I could go ahead and keep this one. It's not a bad one. Yeah, I'll keep I'll keep this one. I got a card over here. We're gonna keep it. We're good to go. Your turn, I think. Yeah. Okay. Way too many things I want to do, which I'm mm -hmm. not sure how to do it, but we're gonna just do this for the funsies of it. This goes here. So this because it's a four is gonna activate that. It's gonna upgrade your faction tile and then you get to trade in to buy a car. Can I tile? do this first of all? Yes, you could. Okay, so I want Does to the do order that. matter? Yes. Oh, okay, fine. Because um, I don't get to uh, get a bonus otherwise. Gotcha. Um, okay, so I need two of those because I want to buy two of these, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to give him this and this, and I get two of those extenders. You're paying four to buy two extenders? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and I can figure it out in a minute, but... This will go here, and I guess we'll move this over. So now some of these things may be a drop off camera just because we're working with limited camera space, but you should be able to see most of it. Okay. We're going to do that and that. Uh, meanwhile, we're going to also... Okay. This upgrades. Great. Flip that. What happens is I get to build... One of your development or your carved tiles for free. For a Not discount. for free, for a discount. For a discount. Yeah. But even though it's the double discount, I'm, only, I'm going to build one of these. Okay. And I'm going to build this one. Ooh, wow. Well. Which is going... Well, any two development tiles. Nice. Right, so those are... These are the development tiles available. Whenever you, whenever you gain a thing, gain a card. Whenever you take advanced, farms cost nothing else. Whenever you gain a farm, trigger it. These actually work well together. Yeah, that one I'm going to do. So we're going to do... And they cost five collective honey, which means you're saving two actions and five honey. Right, so we're going to go here. Okay. I'm going to give you these two tiles. So go. now, whenever you buy farms, they're cheaper, and whenever you buy farms, you trigger the immediate benefit. Right. So just load up on farms. We have the new tile, Apprentice. When you take a carve action, you may carve with a strength three worker. And we have Architect. Whenever you gain one of the the new one of the, the, the extra tiles, you pay one to plant a card. So I also okay. get two cards for doing that. Yep. Oh, nice. Wow. 
Yeah. Okay. My turn. My turn. I think I'm going to have to take a recall action. So I'm going to take a recall action, which means my four is going to immediately hibernate. So let's watch how hibernation works over here. This four over here is going to go back to the available pool over here as that. I'm going to take a single tile over here and place it down. I'm going to place it over here, which gives me a honey. So I'm going to take an active honey for being the first one to hibernate over there. These, This is going to rotate into a four, and that's going to rotate into a four. And both of those, because I'm pulling those back, are going to activate my two farms, which one lets me bump up a tile, but I don't have one. The other one gives me three Queen's Favor, which I do have available. So I'm done over there, and it's your turn, sir. Nicely done. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a B. Okay. Up here. Two exploration. Go for it. And we're going to go here. Okay. And we're going to take this, and we're going to put down a tile. So we can get honey and... I think we'll take a green. Mm -hmm. So honey and a green. And I also get one for being the wild okay. that I placed on, and I think I will take a uh, green. Okay. Okay. And that's my turn. Very good. On my turn, I kind of want to do that over there, but to have the resources for it is a tricky part. I don't know if I do. It's just code for I don't. So, or I wish I could go there, which is helpful as well. You know, let's go. Let's see what happens. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and place this four over here because I'm placing a four here. I'm going to immediately get three points. I'm going to go up one, two, three on that track. Right. Uh, the four plus one means I can buy from this tile and I get a discount of one, which means this is free. This is going to go here, which is going to give me a honey. And because of my faction ability, I get to take four bonus tiles from the board. Nice. So I'm going to remove four bonus tiles from the board. One, two, three, and four from the board, getting all of them. So we're going to get three queen's favor, one, two, three, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, get a point. point. Uh, that's going to be one over there, and a card. Your wow. turn, sir. And the new card that comes out is going to be, uh, it's going to be a two thing, gain three seed cards. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I am going to place my three mm -hmm. over here. And I will uh, buy the last card over there in the row, which is going to cost me two green. Okay. Because I get what you going to call it for free, right? I don't know yeah. what you're referring to, but sure. Yeah, I do. Um, so the last one over there. Oh, that's right. Five. You buy, you buy for two green. Okay. Yep. And you immediately activate its effect. And I will get two points. The new one that comes out costs a single water, which means for you it's free, and right. it's going to give you one of those green weed thingies. I should probably learn what the resource is called. Yeah. You done? Yeah, that was my turn. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I think I think I want to take a grow action, which means I'm going to punch you into the hibernation. That sounded much more aggressive than <laughs> I intended. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and go there, which means I need one resource, which I can justify. So... Yeah, I think so. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and place a four over here. Okay, that's going to punch you out of there. So you can go ahead and immediately hibernate that. So it means it's going to return to the hive as a one. Yeah. And you get to place a hibernation token into any one of these pods. Nice. Uh, the hibernation pods over here are going to give you various rewards, but also they're going to give you area control elements. So I'm going to go here. Giving you a single one of these. Enjoy that, sir. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and pay for that. So I'm going to discard one card for a resource. And then I'm also going to go ahead and discard my resources. So I'm discarding two of these of the of the honey to be able to go ahead and uh, get two of my ships back, and the other two to be able to buy a new faction tile. So we're buying a faction tile. We are upgrading my starting faction tile, which means I'm going to get the points and the adjacency rewards for everything next to it. And so I'm going to get these two into my supply over here. And then I'm also going to grab one of these, which is going to go down onto my board. For right now, over here, we'll figure it out how we want to uh, deal with it later. But anyways, that's my turn, sir. Very nice. I'm going to use my four over here, and I'm okay. going to go here, and I'm going to plant. Ooh, so you get to draw four and then plant. Draw four, keep one, and plant from any one. of your cards. Oh, okay. Yeah, keep them separate, yeah. One, two, three, four. And I get to keep one of these? Mm -hmm. That's correct. Uh, okay. You have to keep one and then plant from either the card you kept or from any of your other cards. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay we're gonna go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then I'm gonna plant, and the 
And the one yeah, in the general, you can only plant two seed cards at first, but if you build more uh, more development tiles, you can build up to two more once you have those frames unlocked. Cool. I'm going to build this one that gives Which me in-game point points per farm. That's a pretty uh, pretty solid card, given your current engine. Now, could I put stuff here? I don't know what you mean by put stuff there. It says you can also use the text of a card. You can always use the text of a card at any point. At any point during, during the game? At the top part, yes. The top part, not the bottom part. At any point in the game, the you can top use top part. Yep, yep, at any use, point, you yep. don't have to be on this area Correct. to do it. Correct. Are you doing anything now? Uh, no, but that's okay. great. Good to know. Uh, on my turn. On my turn. I'm gonna be okay. I have a one over there. I'm trying to figure out how to best combine this for the various things that I want. Because I need that over there. Which means I need more of that. Which is hard to get. So that's tricky. How do I get all the things that I want? Oh, that's always fun. I could do that. That's useful. How Doesn't does help. Go? You can't always get. Can't always get what, what you want, want, but you get what you need. All right. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go over here. We're going to use this one. Uh, pop this down over here to get some resources. I'm gonna move one, two over there. Gather a water tile in there, and then get a water, a reed, and a little bit of everything, basically. Okay. Yeah. Your turn. Um. Actually, hold off on your turn. Let me see. Let me see. Is it your turn or is it not your turn? It's not your turn. I'm going to use this card now to pay mm -hmm. one and one. Uh, you know what? You know what? Do I want to do what I want to do? Um, Where's the hibernation comb? Hmm. Hibernation comb? Yeah. That's down here. I think I will. I guess I'll do. I don't want to. I'm so constricted. I'm going to go ahead and do it, though. I'm going to pay these two over here. Yep. So I'm going to pay these resources. And I'm going to take this tile up here, because I think it's a good one, and I'm going to put it down over here. So it saves me an action and gets me a slight discount, and then we'll shuffle those down, and we'll go ahead and have that done. Okay. Your turn, sir. My turn. That hybridization tile for you is great. Which one? Hybridization. Up to three times, you can convert any resource to just build farms from the stacks. As a single action, you get three build actions at once. And it's still free for the water? The water is, you don't even have to pay for it at all. You simply just build them, straight up. You have to, it's, I can't see it. You pay hybrid addition, up to three times, pay any one resource, yeah. and just draw the top three from the stack and build them. Wow. Yep. That is crazy. So for you, it gives you three farms very quickly, which gives you points on the farms, plus points for your endgame points, points for everything. Yeah. Points uh, for everything. Alternatively, I need to draw everybody back because there's no beast in place. Oh, you got to draw them back. Right. You're going to be taking at least one uh, hybrid. You're gonna, oh, you're, you're going bust. Not bust. You're, you're hibernating. Yes, I'm hibernating this mm -hmm. one. This then this come back over here. So you can activate three farms. And these. So those are going to rotate upwards. Yeah. So that gives you two activations, but because of your ability, you get three farms that you can activate. And this is going to go back to the supply over here, and you're going to get a token into the comb. Uh, where was this? Four. Uh, I believe four. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. So activate three of these. Yep. Any three of them. Oh, that's Any... uh four more points for you, I guess. Right. So I'm going to take. Four more points. Four more points. And then your choice of the other so, one. So, one, two, three, four. And then I will actually take King's Favor. Okay. And you get to put a token into the hibernation, uh, into and, the pod. Yeah. I'll take one of these. And what does this do? Uh, that will clear the development tiles and give you a um, nectar thing. This will give you two points. This will give you a seed card. This will give you clear the farm. Clears that. This is going to clear that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Take two points. Two points. Two more points plus your starting area control of this one. So another two points for you. Okay. okay. My turn. Yeah. My turn. I have to take my turn. And I need some things and I want some things, but I need some things uh, first. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I haven't figured out exactly what I want to do right now. I guess more resources is not a bad thing. So let's go ahead and let's put this down over here. I don't think I'm gonna do anything special with it. I think I'm simply gonna go ahead and just collect the resources shown there. Um, do I want more honey? No, I think I'm fine with the resource, basic resources shown. Okay, your turn, sir. My turn, so okay. So I'm going to use my three okay. to go over here. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna buy this one. But the way to do that is I'm going to use this card and hand it in. You so, gain one. Others gain a token of their choice. So I'll go ahead and take a choice token. Right. And this is going to cost me two. So here's mm -hmm. the second one. 
And I took the what you gave to me, and I don't see I'll it. Take here. a green read. Um, oh, I do. I have space for a green read. I do. Okay, good. So I do okay. this immediately. Yes. New tile comes out. It's going to be okay. bee bread, and it gives you a bunch of tokens. So you get a whole bunch of resources. Okay, so I'm going to do that immediately. I'm going to go. We'll, we'll take a, actually this bee back over okay. here. We'll do that. And then, because we did that, we'll give up three resources in order to build three greens. Seems right. reasonable. Okay. And then, do I uh, wait till they come out, or I only have those three? Uh, what do you mean? What, uh, what are you doing? You're being just... three greens. Oh, you just buy uh, you. Let me see it. You drop on top of the stack. So three up to three at a time. One at a time, you get to decide whether to add it. So here's one. You get yeah. to decide whether to add it to your stack, which I see you know is not to. Yeah. Okay. And you also get the benefit on it because of your ability. So you get one resource of your choice. Right. Okay. I just want and to get a, a card. And a seed card. And a seed card. One resource of my choice. Yeah. I guess I will take honey. Then you get the next one, which is going to give you two more Queen's Favor. I assume you want that too. Yep. Two more Queen's Favor for you. Yep. Makes sense. And then lastly, you get this one over here, which gives you two more points, dear Lord. Okay. Your two engine is going to be something else. And we'll go down here. I have two more points for you. Actually, probably better to clear off one already. Okay. So two more points. I'm going to take a recall action, which means I'm getting two so high So did you give me the Queen's Favor? Uh, Two Queen's Favor? Yes, I did. Okay. Right, you're gonna, I'm going to do a recall action, which is going to give me two more hibernations, plus these two guys are going to rotate upwards. So these are going to rotate upwards because I have my farms over here. One is going to rotate an additional one because of that. Mm -hmm. And then over here, I get two points and four Queen's Favor. So one, two, three, four. Can you give me two points if you don't mind? Yeah. Okay, and then I'm going to hibernate these, this B and this B are both going to go into hibernation, yes. which means I'm going to go ahead and get my uh, hibernation tokens and placement. So let's go ahead and put these down over here. We got a uh, two more of these tokens here, and I will put them. I think I'm going to grab a seed card over here, and I think I'll grab a um, Queen's Favor, and what's it called? Queen's Favor, and clear the farms. So these tokens are going to go out of play. I'm going to move those. And then to you, sir, as far as the next action. Yes. Um, I'm going to move this one. Um, I actually will move it down. I'll take a queen's favor. Okay. Queen's favor for you. And we get a new square. And I get to put something on this. And I will put a green squiggly. Green squigglies are the best squigglies. Yes. And the most delicious. The most delicious squigglies. Okay. Okay. I have plans. They're multiplying. I think there's a lot of things I want to do. I think I will place. If I do that, that's okay. I kind of want those two as well. Okay, how much space do I have for resources? One, two, three. Not enough space is what I'm hearing. Okay. I think I'm going to go ahead and go over here with this guy. Okay, so I'm going to pay two honey to gather two more uh, bees back into supply. Yeah. And then I'm going to gather uh, this tile over here by paying for two of those to buy one of these tiles over here and take another frame and add it to my board. So in that, Your turn. here's my question though. That takes two strength, and you did two of these. I did one. Oh, you're right. I cannot do two of those. I'm sorry. Good point. You're not. You're not wrong. I'm glad you caught that. Okay. Um, my turn. I will. Nisha is going to do one thing now. I'm actually thinking of doing another one. Another uh, one. Yeah. Another one. I'm going to go here with my four. Okay. Going to bump me out. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to rotate up to a four, I think. I will give up two things. Uh, first, I'll do this one. So I get to gain the resources shown on any explorer planet. Okay. Uh, oh. No, I'm not going to do that one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of these two instead. Um, two of these instead, and I'm just going to take two random resources because I want to buy two more extending tiles. Two more frames. Two more frames. Two more frames. We have to give some people a snapshot of your board because I don't think they can see it. Yeah. Place whatever you need. Yeah, we're going to move a little. Don't worry. Around. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. I've finished games of Avi Avi ah, geez, Apiary. I finished games of Apiary with not a single frame. I think the most I've seen so far was four. Are you at five right now or four? No, no, no. I'm at four. Four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. So four currently is the max. 
so far. Not okay. the actual max, just the max we've seen. My turn? Yep. Oh, I didn't actually have to use a four for that. That's interesting. I am going to go ahead and do Not some things. Use. I had plans. Are they I had plans, they're multiplying. And I'm losing all control. I'll place a B at research. Draw two cards and then keep both because I can. Your turn. My turn. Okay, I'm going to recall everybody. So this turns into a... Uh, hibernation tile. Hibernation tile. So mm -hmm. this becomes a one over here. This becomes a four up here. This becomes a two up here. And I get a hibernation tile, which... Um, I'm going to do... Oh, you took over the majority there. Do this. Clear these. So these yeah. are going to clear. And you get a, a free nectar thing, Majiggy. One of these guys. We got Serum. Retrieve all of your ships. No aging. Collect for each. We got Nucleus. Ooh, gain two frames. Well, iron. Ooh. And then we have reactivate up to two adjacent tiles. Okay. Two My adjacent turn? tiles. Two adjacent uh, development tiles. Yeah. My turn, sir? Your turn. What to do? What to do? I had plans. So yes, I Oh, I actually plans. activate stuff, right? Because I withdrew. Yep. So I get three. Because I only withdrew... My fourth one became a... Yes, yes. So I only get three. Okay, so I will take uh, two points, and I'll take another two points. This seems reasonable. You're going to charge those point tracks. Um, I will go ahead and place a four over here to convert. Okay, so that means I'm going to be able to teach a dance. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I lied. I lied. I lied. And do that first. That makes more sense. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and place this down over here. Where I'm going to go ahead... Oh, I could do that. Oh, that's intriguing. I could place a four there, which is intriguing. Or I could place a one there. I'm going to place a one there. I'm going to place a one there. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to take a uh, yellow, a green, and a red. Uh, water. Water. Your turn. Uh, my turn. Okay. Um, I am going to place a four okay. over here. Because they're doing that, I'm going to go here. So okay. I gain this. But because I'm here and I place a four, I gain one this. You gain a token, yep. And you get the planter card. And I get the planter card. Um, end game, I get three per up to 12. But per, three per uh, frame? Oh, yeah. wow. So that's a 12 point card there. My turn? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and place my four down over here. So that means I'm going to be able to convert that, which means I'm going to uh, teach a dance and perform it to X conversions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach a dance, and I think I'm going to teach the dance of honey. Trade a point for honey. Nice. Okay, so you can trade a point for honey over there, and then I'm going to go ahead and perform up to four conversions. I'm going to put my token on this. Oof. This means I've created a token over here. Whenever he does this trade, I'll get favor for it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trade these two for one of those. So I'm going to trade that in there. That's going to give me one of these, which I can store over here, let's say. Uh, then I'm going to do that again, I think, which means I'm going to have to give up another honey. And I'll give up a card over here. So I'm going to give up this card over here. That's going to give me another one of these over here, which can go into my hive. And then I'll go ahead and do a trade for honey. So I'm going to give a point. Can you be down one point? Yep. And I'll take a honey, which will go over here. And I could do one more trade, which I think I'm just going to do a card draw trade, because I think that makes sense over here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, discard this card and draw a new card. And then it's your turn. My turn. Okay, I am going to move this B down. Mm, so that's going to rotate around over here. I'm and I think there. I'm going to make it a two. And because I went there, I am going to go down here. I'm going to go over here. And here it gives me mm -hmm. one and one. Okay. So we'll take one and one. That's my turn. Okay. I'm going to go ahead, and this is a little obnoxious, but I think I have to do it. So I'm going to place this one over here. That gives me a strength three. I'm going to build build from this column. I'll build that. I pay a discount of one for those, so I'm going to pay only one. And I'm going to put this down over here, which means I'm going to do the following. I'm going to get six points out of the game, but I'm going to get four frames. Okay, so four frames because it doubles. So yep. I get four frames out of that, yep. and I get the seed card underneath it. So I'll draw a seed card. I'll place four frames, and That's then you can go crazy. ahead and go. 
Yeah, the four frames is a bit intense. I wish I hadn't paid for those other frames. I will not need these four frames, but I'm just going to go ahead and place them because it doesn't hurt to have them. Your turn, sir. That is pretty crazy. Um, yes. Now, I wanted to see what these researchers were. The new one that came out is going to be uh, up to five times. Pay that in to get trade resources for one point. It's called donation. Okay, and what's the architect down there? The architect like down... this. Sorry, the carve. This is make carve with strength of three workers. That is pretty cool. Um, For the record, this is the new max of frames we've gotten. Not necessarily the new max <laughs> of uh, covered frames. I do not anticipate filling those frames. Okay, uh, we're just going to go here. We're going to move this down. Okay. And because we moved it down, we're going to buy... Uh, water tile okay. with this and we're going to take I think we'll take that's upgrade stuff, stuff Which one? that's points oh, yeah. yeah so I'll take points again okay and we will put this over here my turn yeah these are going to slide down over here. I'm going to have to take a recall turn because i it's got nothing else to do over there. So I get points. Oop, that's you. I get points. Mm -hmm. And I get it doubled again. Okay. On my turn, I'm going to go take a recall. So I'm going to pull this one back. This is going to become a three and activate a tile. This is going to come back, become a three oh, and activate Oh, whenever I hibernate, I'm supposed to get two resources. Ooh. That's been a while. Yeah. Uh, take when a bunch of resources. Fill up, your, fill up your cavern, in my opinion. I mean, you have, you've hibernated it at least... What, three times since then? I think that was one of the first tiles you bought, wasn't it? Yeah. So it takes six resources. Mm. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and uh, this one's going to hibernate, so it's going to return back to the pool. Okay. And that means I'm going to go ahead and take a hibernation token. That's going to go over here, and I'll simply take the uh, single resource there, which means I'll take a, I don't know if it matters significantly, I'll take a honey, because why not? And then um, I get to activate these two, any two of these. So I'm going to activate this one, which gives me two points in the queen's favor. Can I get two points, please? Yeah. And then, interesting, I have to make some choices, some hard choices. Ooh. Intriguing. I am not going to be able to do everything I want in this game. I will take another three queen's favor. One, two, three. Your turn, sir. Um, okay. Just trying to read this. Cool. Um, I am going to... I have no more placements, so I'm okay. gonna recall. Recall away. So you're yeah. gonna recall three things. Yeah. So means, oh, becomes... are we tricking endgame? Are we? You just tricked endgame, didn't you? Did I? I have no idea. You're pulling back a four. No. Isn't that a four up there? Oh, is that the one? That is a four. That's a four. I should have. Uh, I should have made Oopsie. choices differently. Me too. This is a. F I didn't, I'm not prepared for this. <laughs> this goes here. We haven't done a single this, carving. This is, goes here. We've not done a single carving. <laughs> Um, but I have to do it. I haven't done my seed cards. I should have turned that into a four. It's all I, good. It's all I, good. I'm not panicking. <laughs> I'm going to take, uh, points. So I'll just take two, four, six. This is so, you're going to destroy me in this game. One, That's two, all I had. three, four, six. Okay. Right? Because I pulled back mm -hmm. two only because that one becomes that. Okay. Okay. That's my turn. Now it's your turn. Um, well, I could do that. But that won't help me at all. I could do that. This is not what I was prepared for. Okay, one second. Let me see what I can do over here. Um, That's really dumb of me. Because I'm going to not have this completed then. It's a lot. I mean, it is what it yeah. is. <laughs> wow. Okay. It's not necessarily dumb of you because, again, you put me in a tough spot. No, but I I'm saying I, I, I think I just I just placed this Okay. right before my turn. So move it, so, means. Yeah, this would have been here then. But just. then do you draw a C card? The C card is here. Okay. Turn it not to the top of the stack. Okay, so I get one more action effectively because you just triggered endgame. Do you have it? You have nope, it. Where's your token? I didn't put it. So you get a resource and you clear all these development tiles. Oh, resource. And you get seven points over there. Um, no resource really is helpful at this point, right? Uh, I guess we can see if there's anything that gives you endgame points over there. Hmm. But no resource really counts. So the tricky part here is trying to figure out just how to optimize around this because I did not anticipate this happening right now. And I don't have cards that are good for me right now. So let me just swap that. I really... Wow. 
I wasn't expecting it either. Yeah. Remember, it's a learning game. It's a learning game. It's not our first game. It's like our third game. <laughs> um, okay, I have to drastically plan around how to get anything that I want. That one is useful-ish, but not exactly. It's a two-point play. I need better plays. I can't get a carving action. That is not good. I can convert, which is not helpful. I can research, which is not that helpful. <clears throat> I could draw two more of those. I guess I could do that. I don't know. That one's useful-ish, I guess. Fine, well, uh, it won't do much for me, but I guess it'll do something because that'll help me at least get that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and buy, <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't move, it <clears throat> doesn't do a ton, but I'm gonna go ahead and place this over here, which is gonna let me take this tile, placing this over here, which will let me reactivate these over here, which gives me, ironically, oh, I wanted that one. <laughs> it gives me two more frames, <laughs> and more importantly, lets me get my this to the max over here. So uh, it is what it is over there. <sighs> and then what I'm gonna do, follow that up with, is now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and discard any tile from your hive to gain three points. Nice. So if you move me up three points, I'm gonna discard that because it doesn't do anything for me. So I built it and then discarded it. Okay, what's the new thing that came out though? Uh, the new thing is recollect from your tokens one time. Oh, that would have been so good for me. Uh, it's a ton of points, but it's a ton of resources, but not much points. It's from all your tokens. That's yeah. pretty cool. Um, so what gives the most points of all these things? Oh, that was my last turn. That was a very disappointing last turn. And I can't even buy anything on the carve. I can see me gain place bonus gain. I think you have me in points, but we're going to see. I think I should build this. Go ahead. I think building this gives me the ability to then move another one and do another action and maybe get do it. Do it. See what happens. But this is two points and everything else is just one point. Yeah, so build it. I know. I have two honey. I have so many things. Okay, so we're going to build this by going there. We're going to move our... It makes no difference what we do because this can go here. And because of that, we have to pay this thing in. I had so many plans, by the way. So many plans. I will place this here because that yep. makes the most sense. Okay. Um, immediately place one. Mm -hmm. One, yep. any one, or yep. just a yep. number I'll, one? I'll place any one ship that you have. Okay, and gain bonus. Yep. Okay, so then now I have to figure out where do I want to build again. Is there anything that gives me most points? It looks like this is the only thing that gives you points. Go for it. have built-in point system. Otherwise, nothing else really gives you points. Especially when you're just a... A measly three. Okay, we're gonna go here again. And because we did that, we are just gonna choose any. We'll take a, f a f um, gives me points. Well, farms give you d double, twice the points. Right. Back that in. Yeah, so I might as well take a farm. And you get to activate it right away as well, which, I mean, gives you nothing, but yeah. Give me nothing unless this, uh, this upgrade this to a four? No. No, none. Oh, this one would. Oh, no, yeah, it would. This would upgrade Immediately, and would it get the three for points for placing it? No, it's after placing it. Why would it, why would it help you to have a four? Because then you gain three points. No, you don't get that. No, no. Oh. Alternatively, it's less interesting. That's already down there. That is a two. Yep. I, can, I should go that. That gives this two one? points, no? That I mean, gives these two are points. two by default anyway. They're two by default. Okay, I'll just take any. Fine. Right. So any one of these over here yep. doesn't really matter significantly because you're going to go ahead and get the Correct. bonus. I will take this card, place it on the card spot, and it says, oh, immediately? Pay two to activate a four bonus on any face of planet. On any face of planet, one of these. Okay. Um, build a, a tree for free. Sure. And tree gives bonus. Yeah. So yeah. that's going to be another two sense. points. Pay two. I'll just use any two. Um, this goes here. Isn't this a for free? Pardon? What are you, what are you paying two for? Oh, yeah, I gotcha, gotcha, yes. Yeah. Activate. Yep. Um, I can draw, draw another card. Then I may purchase one as well. For negative one. Okay. okay. Go ahead and do that. Might as well do that. Okay. So you get a little bit of a chaining thing over here. We got one over there. We got this one costs you two. Unfortunately, oh, you have this. You have the resources. So you can yeah. build it. What, what are it's they doing? Yeah. Research over here. That May as well take that one. It's a two pointer. Right. Whenever you hibernate, gain two. Whenever you build a tile adjacent to me, gain no, a card. Might as well take the two points. Yep. <laughs> so ridiculous. Go ahead and place it on. <laughs> uh, there. Uh, yep. Yep. Draw another card. <laughs> Go ahead. Do it. Chain it if you can. Plus one strength doesn't help you. Yeah. Okay. And that's going to be the end of the game. <laughs>
which means yes. now, <laughs> no, no, this, let's, let's play this out. Yeah. So we're gonna go through endgame scoring over here. Let's go ahead and grab our endgame scoring card, which is otherwise known as the rule book. And we're gonna go through all the endgame scoring. So it's gonna be, I think you win, but let's find out how it goes. So any conditions on seed cards? I'm gonna get a five basic points. Give me five points, sir. Yes. And then you have, I believe, 17. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 farms, plus 12 for your tiles, for your frames, you get 22 points. Uh, so going 26 to 48. Q, get the okay. 48. Yep, there you go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get any farms, or all your farms, recruits, and development. So you're literally just going to score your board. So I can have the tiles. So I get 1, 2, 3, okay. 4, 5, one, two, 6, three, 7, 8, 9, four, 10, 11, five, 12. 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh. Nine for just farms. Okay. Ten. Well, that'll be... Did you do this? Yeah, I counted that one already. Yep. Okay, so what am I supposed okay. to be counting? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen points. Eighteen plus forty-eight brings us to sixty-six. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the conditions on any carvings you built. None of us built carvings this game. We're going to go ahead and do the position on the Queen's favor track. You're going to get three points for that. One, two, three, and I get to 25 points for being at the top over here. Going from 4, 29 to um, 29 to 34, 54. 54 nice. over here. That's my. I think that's my one jump. I don't think I make it after that. Uh, filling your hive mat and frame. So I filled my hive mat over here. It's going to be eight points for me from 54 to 62. And I think you filled... Hive mat and two, two. So you get 20, uh, 24 points. Uh, 69 to 73 to 93 over here. Then we're going to get your faction's endgame ability. I will double my points from these. So I get an additional 7 points from 62 to 69. And then lastly, uh, winning hibernation comb sector majorities, which again, you're going to boost me over here. You can get 7 to my 5. I'll get okay. 5, 69, 74, and you'll get 7 from 93 to an even 100. Okay, but then you did this? You did those already. Oh, yeah. Nice. And that is Apiary. That is a gameplay of Apiary from Stone Meyer Games. This was an interesting one because we did no carving at all, <laughs> none. Which which is cool that there's so many different approaches different ways. and yeah. yeah. This is my third play so far, and each one has been vastly different. I think the scores have ranged from as low as like 50 to as high as 108 so far. There's a lot you can do in this one, but you can go ahead and check out the review at some point if you want uh, more of a conversation around that. But anyways, until next time, I'm Alex Radcliffe from Board Game Co. AP. Have a good one.